Good morning. <laughs> I'm um, currently trying to do my hair and actually I've been trying to leave these in not quite as long as I um, had been so that I wouldn't look like curly locks. But I got a job and um, anyways, I'm fixing my hair so that when I go, I will look like I tried, you know? We gotta look like we tried. So anyway. Okay, so so much has happened since I last posted. Let me see if I can set this up with that on a Nova. Anyway, so much has happened since I last posted. Um, I dislocated my shoulder, and so that kind of way put me back behind on my, um, my hair is still way curlier than what I intended it for it to be, but it will fall out, see? Side note here, you curl it with the hot rollers, then go out in the swampiness and it falls out and it looks nice. Actually, it looks nice right now, but it's not, it's kind of fancy for what I'm fixing to do. Anyways, that's not the point. Okay. Um, okay. So I dislocated my shoulder, this one, um, doing something overhead. It was kind of just like a freak thing because it's kind of just like a freak thing because my, the weight wasn't heavy or anything like that. You just really have to be careful when you're lifting weights. I went up like this and I guess this arm just I don't know. It just kind of rolled back and, and it was out. So anyway, that kind of has had me where I've had to um, change up my workout routine. Um, and that lasted about three to four weeks, I guess, before all this quarantine stuff happened. And so once again, I had to change up my routine and my workout routine again. Um, I went from doing like super heavy stuff, crazy stuff. Um, like I, my goal before um, was kind of just to do as many as heavy as I could, um, less reps. And so that obviously had to change. Um, there was a lot of things I couldn't use. I couldn't use a barbell and stuff like that because I, anything that I had to use his hand for, I couldn't use. So, um, anyways, to make a long story short, maybe I'll cover that in another video because it is pretty interesting. Um, with the quarantine, everything has been much, much lower weight. I've been doing slower reps. Um, everything's gotta be at home or outside. So, anyways, that's one change. I got a job, that's another change. And um, I got a job at a gym. So I worked there a day and a half and then the quarantine happened and so everything sh shut down. But I've still been going three hours a day and doing that and I'm really enjoying that even though it's not anything about, it has nothing to do with what I'll actually be doing once the gym opens back up. I've just enjoyed kind of just doing something to the side again. So with all that being said, um, with the quarantine, you know, we all have a lot more time than what we would typically have. Not all of us. There's a few of us maybe that are like, if you're a nurse or something like that, I don't know. Um, but the majority of us have much more time than we typically have. And I know a lot of people are using this time to do things that you would typically feel guilty doing, such as like binge watching shows or, you know, just being lazy, pointless things. And or just using it as an excuse, not even not even necessarily, not everybody's like me, I always feel guilty about wasting time, but um, just kind of taking a back seat and using that as an excuse to not have to do anything because that's just the easy thing to do. Well, throughout, so far I guess it's been two weeks, I've definitely stayed busy. Um, my weekends have been slower, but other than that, I feel like my days actually are just as full as they were before. Um, however, I am getting more sleep, which is nice. Um, anyways, so I've continued to make myself work out every day. It has greatly helped that I follow a lot of people that are fitness people on Instagram. So I see them working out or I see their workout stuff and it motivates me to go and get something done too because, because I know I need to because it's also mentally, it's like a mental health thing for me. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's been easy to make myself do that every day. Now, the one thing I have slacked off on though, um, and actually this happened at the beginning of this year, I guess when kind of life has been crazy and kind of upheaval <laughs> for me for the last six months, I guess. Um, and there were some things that I wanted and I had some goals, some dreams, aspirations, whatever, that at the beginning of this year, just because everything was just kind of chaotic and it was just easier to just put that on the back burner, I did. So, this morning I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, they just announced another 
30 days of quarantine. And during this time, I do have a little bit of extra time. Well, I, mean, I have extra morning time-ish. <laughs> My evenings are still incredibly full. I have a little extra time, okay? I need to put this to good use because at the end of this 30 days, I don't want to be asking myself or beating myself up at the end of this 30 days because I did nothing to further myself in the things that I, my goals in my, you know, the things that I could be doing right now. I to use this 30 days to kind of try to get back on track with things that I had kind of put away to the side just because it was too time consuming or whatever with other things going on. Cause, um, I would be working another five hours a day if things were normal. Oh, I saw the bobby pin in my hair. We do have extra time and I want to make it resourceful. I also need to kind of like cut out. There's some things maybe that I have going on that I'm not doing so great at because they're actually not my passion. That I don't, it's not that I don't believe in them, but they're just not my thing. And so maybe some of those things I need to cut out because that's whenever you have extra things like that, that you feel obligated to, um, but you're not doing them, that always kind of just weighs on you. And if it's not really something that you, um, it's not really, you don't really see yourself there, that's not something that you really, it's not your thing, maybe, then if you can cut it out, it's, and I'm talking to myself here because I know it's going to be hard for me to just cut it out because I hate, I hate like not following through with things. But anyways, it is, it does weigh on you. And so if you can cut it out, then you probably should cut it out and focus on the things that actually matter to you, the things that are actually aspirations. Um, and things like that. So, anyways, I am going to work here in a little bit. Let's see. But anyways, I'm wearing a snogga skirt right now. Where's the little thingy at right there? I'm wearing a snogga skirt right now. Um, I actually am going to be doing... I, I turned my shirt inside out because at work, like... No, honestly, I can't really tell you why I turned it inside out. I just did, okay? Just to keep clean lines and clean edges. Where's my face? I actually have a modley skirt coming in, or it's already in, it's in my car. I need to get it. Otherwise, I'd actually be wearing it right now. I plan on doing a, I, I have to do, a at-home workout using, like, no weights or anything, a bodyweight workout. So, I'm going to be doing that later today um, in that skirt, and I can't wait to try it on and see what it looks like, but... Anyways. This is the spreadsheet that we're gonna email off of. So we're gonna click um staff. Hey, and now I'm outside fixing to freeze to death because it is so cold. Here is the skirt I was talking about from Modley. Um it's cute. It's got it has a little back, the black pattern on the back and on oh both both sides it has a pocket no yeah both sides has a pocket I didn't realize it had a pocket on both sides so anyways I filmed a body weight workout for them and um now I'm about to go do my own okay so this is the workout that I recorded for um modly fashion this is a modly fashion skirt and it was super cute. It's lightweight material and just enough stretch to be able to do whatever I needed to do without being hindered at all. So I started out with these slow push-ups, and that is because it creates more resistance than doing um, than doing regular push-ups. You actually get more out of it. So I did that to make it a little more difficult. Moving on to Bulgarian split squats. Um, basically, you just put your leg behind you, prop it on something. It can be lower than this um, than this table. The table is just what I had. Keep your knee above your toes. Don't let it go past your toes. Moving on to Russian twist. This is also body weight. All of it's body weight um, because of the quarantine. You know, we don't have weights or some of us don't. Anyways, just side to side. Keep your core tight. Your back straight. Don't let your back arch. Pr bring your core in to protect your back. Plank taps. So the goal here is to keep your core tight. Try not to let your hips rock back and forth. As little movement as possible. Um, and then you just tap shoulder to shoulder. Pull squats, um, this just makes it a little bit more difficult than just doing regular body squats. When you're at the bottom, pulse, I did about two to three times, come back up, squeeze your glutes at the top, and go back down into a squat, and try to keep your hips parallel to your knees.
in and out. So basically with this one, you just keep your core tight and engaged. You can do this with your hands to your sides, but not touching the ground, which is going to have, you have to use a little bit more stability, or you can put your hands to the ground and continue to go in and out with your legs. Either way, it is a very good exercise. And plank walks. So once again, although my hips are definitely turning, try not to let them get too out of control. Try to keep your hips as still as possible, engage your core, and then you're gonna alternate which arm you go down on um, as you do these plank walks. And second to last, step ups. You can use whatever you have. You can use a chair, you can use a chest, you can use a little table like this. All you're gonna do is step up to balance. So whenever you step up, going through your heel, pushing your weight through your heel, bring your other leg up, balance, and then back down. And last one is kind of like a crunch reach, kind of like a sit up and reach, kind of like a V up. So whatever it is, it is very effective. Just reaching towards your knees, but try to pa past your knees, keep your core engaged and go. And that concludes the end of the video. So if you liked it, then press the like button and subscribe. Right, Kiki? <laughs> that works for him. He any any time he sees that on YouTube, he, he does that. So if kids are watching, I know they're automatically going to do it because I said to, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, feel free to reach out to me with any questions.